Hi guys, in this uh, lesson we will see about determination of apparent density of refractory. Refractory or the materials that can withstand very high temperature for example if you take uh, bricks soil ceramic materials so these materials can withstand very high temperature so they are said to be refractory this class is about the determination of apparent density okay so what is density density is a ratio of mass to volume mass in grams okay volume in ml or centimeter cube okay so when we deal with the solid substances we use this unit centimeter cube for volume when we deal for liquid substances we use the uh, ml as a unit for the volume okay so density is a ratio of mass to volume mass of the substance to the volume of the sub uh, volume occupied by the substance then what is this apparent density apparent density is also uh, the ratio of mass to the volume but here it includes the pores and the water present in the material okay so that's the difference between density and apparent density apparent density is the relationship between mass and volume of the material including pores and water you need to know about one more term that is specific gravity okay so it is the ratio of density to the density of water density to the density density of the material to the density of water density of water is always taken as 1 gram per ml okay if the density of the material is greater than okay density of material is greater than 1 1 gram per ml then the material sinks into the water if the density of material is less is less than 1 gram per ml then the material can float over the water now let's see about the experimental part that is procedure to determine the apparent density of a refractory first um we must take a container okay so here 
ट्वेंटी फै एम मेषरी जार दिस टेकन दिस वेट ऑफ दिस वन मस्ट बी मेषर्ड ओके दिस मास ऑफ दिस मेषरी जार मस्ट बी मेषर्ड ओके यूसिंग ए डिजिटल वेइंग बैलेंस let us take the mass of this empty measuring jar to be 17 grams let this be p that is p is equal to 17 grams next fill the measuring jar till the marking okay with the distilled water and take weight let its uh, mass be taken as w 1 gram say its weight is 40 40 grams so empty container this measuring cylinder weight is 17 grams that is taken as p p is equal to 17 gram and it is filled with the uh, distilled water okay till the marking till the marking that means 25 ml of water okay so the measuring jar plus water weighs 40 grams so let us take that as w1 okay so w1 equal to 40 grams next uh, we have to drain down this distilled water from the measuring jar and uh, we have to clean the measuring jar and dry it okay so when there is no more moisture present in it we must add the refractory substance whether it is um, ceramic beads or the soil okay so whatever the solid is given to you that must be added into the dried measuring cylinder okay and then this has to be weighed let us take this weight to be w okay so let us take it to be 28 gram okay measuring cylinder with water weighs 40 grams measuring cylinder with the solid material weighs 28 grams the next step that is after weighing the measuring cylinder plus the solid okay we need to add the distilled water first we must add drop by drop into it okay so that the air gaps present in the material must be filled with the water then we need to make it up to the level that is 25 ml so when you drop it using a dropper uh, all the air gaps present uh, in the material will be filled with the water then we can make it up to the mark okay now this has to be weighed now let us take this weight to be w2 W two weighs as forty seven grams. Okay, mass of the empty cylinder seventeen grams. Mass of the cylinder plus water forty grams. Mass of the cylinder measuring cylinder plus solid substance weighs twenty eight grams. Okay, and mass of the cylinder solid and water weighs. Forty-seven grams. Specific gravity can be calculated by this form formula. W minus p. So W minus p, W minus p, okay, will give you the mass of the substance. All right, and W two minus W one. W two minus W one. Okay. will give you the mass 
of the substance in water okay so w minus p the whole divided by w minus p minus of w2 minus w1 by which we can calculate the specific gravity and specific once specific gravity is calculated we multiply it by the density of the air that is 1 gram per cc you will get the apparent density now let us calculate the specific gravity using these values now w minus p that is 28 minus 17 the whole divided by 28 minus 17 minus of w2 is 47 47 minus w1 is 40 28 minus 17 11 okay so 11 minus 47 minus 40 is 7 so that is equal to 11 divided by 11 minus 7 4 so 11 divided by 4 is equal to 2.75 gram per centimeter cube actually we don't have the unit for the specific gravity okay so it is 2.75 only so specific gravity um, into density of the air density of the air is so that gives you the apparent density okay so apparent density equal to specific gravity into density of water so that is equal to 2.75 into 1 gram per centimeter cube so that is equal to 2.75 gram per centimeter cube so this, this is a apparent density calculated for the material So I have discussed with you all about the determination of apparent density of a refractory okay um, using some values and I have calculated the apparent density also okay so in next video I will show you the experimental part thank you.